What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, going back to Beyonce. Yes, indeed. Beyonce fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Alan Marquez. And Alan want to see me react to this song. Alright, it, it might be two songs. I'm not 100% sure about this. It's Beyonce performing... According to the title of the video, Baby Boy and Naughty Girl. Now, this could be two different songs. It could be. But considering the fact that you got the correlation between a boy and a girl in the same title of the video, it leads me to believe that it's one song. And the name of the song is Baby Boy and Naughty Girl. Like Batman and Robin. You know, or, you know... Uh, Butch and Sundance, or whatever, you know, uh, it's, it, I don't know, it just seems to me like this is one song, because that's how the title looks to me. Now, I could be wrong about that, and it could end up being two different songs, and if that's the case, well, then he got away with it. Uh, have I heard this before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if, I'm gonna listen, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, I know this song. I know I've heard this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Pedro Maya and the video has 831,667 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Beyonce, Baby Boy and Naughty Girl, live at the BBC. Uh-oh. That's an issue. Well. Okay, it's hard enough getting Beyonce videos through without them getting blocked. I mean, pretty much every Beyonce video I've done has been blocked. It's just, I have to fight them and they they, they usually just expire. They, the, the dispute expires and I end up winning by default because they didn't respond. A few of did though, a few did respond and they deny my, my dispute. Uh, the BBC, that's another issue. So we're getting hit with a double whammy here. So if this gets blocked, don't be surprised. That's, that's just letting you know. And it isn't just because of Beyonce. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm a little more scared of this, the BBC. I'm a little more scared of that. But we'll see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I said hello, everyone. How many of you guys have my first album, Danger Sound Love? Do you mind if I do one of those songs off of that album? You have to help me sing. Are y'all gonna help me sing? Oh, 
Got that Middle Eastern feel to it, which I, I dig. It feels good. Uh, the pacing on the song feels good. Uh, um, so C sharp. We're in C sharp, I think. Um, yeah, we're in C sharp. Okay. Um, Actually, C sharp is a good key for Middle Eastern tunes. Uh, I don't know why that is, but you'll hear a lot of Middle Middle Eastern feeling songs in C sharp. I don't know why that is. I, I don't. I don't. I've never been able to under, understand or explain that correlation, but it's very common. Um. Anyway, uh, if I'm being honest, the mix, the the track. The, the track that they're using is really coming through the mix a little hard. It, it, it's coming through a little loud. They need, if, in my opinion, they need to turn that mix down a little bit, the, the, the track in the mix a little bit. They really need to turn it down because it's, it's glaring. Like when you're using track, you, you want to be, I mean, you, you want to be heard. You do want to be heard, but like if you're stacking things front to back, right so you have all the everything happening on the stage you have the vocals guitar bass drums keyboards horns whatever and you have track right well what should be at the very front of the line vocals should be right i i feel like the track is being louder than the vocals if i'm being honest here i feel like they need to turn the track down probably about maybe two notches two to three notches maybe I mean, it doesn't have to be turned on a whole lot, but it, it needs to be turned down. It's it's glaring. It's not burying Beyonce. I don't think anybody can really bury Beyonce's voice. She's a little <laughs> she's a little strong, um, you know, with her vocal ability. She, she's a little powerful, if you know what I mean. Uh, but all the same, track should not be matching up with her. Track should be in the back behind her for sure. And it seems like it's almost on par. Actually, to me, it feels like it's a little in front. And that's not where track should be. Track should be about four behind, four or five behind where the vocals are. So, I don't know. That That's not her fault. That's FOH. But, uh, yeah. I, I'm not, I don't know about that mix. Um, it does look like it's two songs. Okay, so he got away with it. Good for him. Uh. We're, we're doing two songs, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's continue here. Let's see where this goes. You see what I mean? It's just this portion in. Crowd interaction is really good. I, I I will say um, one of the good things about using track for her is it, it does free her up to do more crowd interaction, which is good for a live show. It, it, that that's a good thing to have is to have those opportunities to 
they interact with the crowd. Um, I was going to say something else about that. Oh, the track. Um, it's still loud. I mean, I, I think you can see what I'm talking about. It's just, it's, it's just so dominant right now. It's, it's kind of distracting. Uh, I will give Beyonce a lot of praise and a lot of compliments for not doing something. A lot of times when bands, artists use track, they will put microphones in front of people. Now those microphones will not be live. They will not be hooked up in any way, shape or form. They will not have cords attached to them. And if they're wireless mics, you can very clearly see there's no lights turned on. They're, they're, they're all powered off. There's not even batteries in them. You know, they're just microphones are dead husks sitting there. And those people will sit there and pretend to sing. That gets on my nerves. I have no problem with people using track. I know a lot of people in the past have said, well, you're making a big deal about tracks and blah, blah, blah. Here's my stance on tracks. And I know a lot of people, like I said, they sometimes misconstrue what I say. So I'm gonna say this as plainly as I can. I have no problem with bands and artists using tracks. We use tracks, okay? We, I have no problem with bands using tracks whatsoever. What I do have a problem with is when the people on the stage or the management or whoever the artist is, is, whoever's in charge of making these decisions, they have the audacity to sit there and put microphones in front of people and, and tell them to lip sync and pretend like they're singing when they're really not. That's when I have a problem because that to me is dishonest. That to me is a lie and that is just not needed. It's absolutely, look, Beyonce right here, using tracks. I don't see anybody with a microphone in front of them pretending to sing the backing lines. She doesn't need that. She doesn't need it. She uses tracks, she doesn't care, and the people in the crowd don't care either. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't care that she's using track. I, I do care about the mix, you know, that the track is so up in front, but I got no problem with her using the track. Tracks are used by a lot more artists and bands than you might believe. I know there's a lot of people go, well, my band doesn't use tracks. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? There's a bunch of bands out there using track now, and there's nothing wrong with it. It fills out the sound. It makes life a lot easier, uh, especially on the musicians, to what they were not able to get the sound like they get in studio in a live setting. So I got no problem with track. As long as you're being honest about it, you don't hide it, and you don't pretend to have people up there on stage singing lyrics that are clearly being tracked. You know what I mean? That's when I have an issue. It's not the using track. I could care less about the track. Tracks, I, I love tracks, man. Tracks are great, as long as you're honest about it and they're used properly. And she's using them properly. It's a, like I said, it's a little heavy in the mix. But other than that, it's fine. Um, I like the stage interaction. I like the crowd interaction. Um, it's a good live show. And that's what I like to see in a live performance. I like to see a live show, a spectacle. And this definitely is. It seems to me like this is in a smaller venue. Like the stage is small and it looks like, and it sounds like the crowd isn't very big. So this feels like a little more of an intimate performance, which is cool. I got no problem with that. Um, let's keep going here. I'm feeling sexy. I wanna hear you say my name, boy. If you can reach me, you can feel my burning flame. Oh my God, I'm yes, I just wanna take you home with me. The moment I feel your energy, I just take it down. Stop feeling so crazy. I'm 
this is like a good place to say in the pause. Um, nice cross sticking back beat feel from the drummer now, getting that, you know, with, with the cross stick especially, kind of giving it a little bit of a hollower sound to the snare, which is nice. A little more laid back feel. Um, guitar and bass playing that unison line. Dun, ba -da 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 -dun, dun, bum, ba -da -ba -da -dun, dun. It's, it's impactful. Um, I think it's working as far as the as far as guitar and bass playing that line in unison. Whenever you have a guitar and a bass playing in unison, there's the opportunity to lose the fullness of the sound. But it's working because I think, and that's primarily because of what the drummer is doing. The drummer did switch to that cross sticking feel. Um, well, not even a cross sticking. He, he switched to cross sticking. Period. But more of a laid back feel with the cross sticking. So. It's a lot more, uh, how should I say this? It's a lot more subtle in, 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 the, in the drumming, which gives the guitar and bass the ability to play that unison line without it dropping out completely. So he backed off, they backed off. And it, it's, it, it works, it definitely fits. Um, yeah, man, I mean, so far so good. Um, what I'm hearing from Beyonce as far as her vocal performance goes, I've heard her do better. I've heard her do far better, uh, far more impressive. Um, these songs feel very simple compared to some of the other songs I've heard her do. Um, however, having said that, what she is doing fits the context of the song, number one. Number two is it's... It's being done well. I mean, look, not every song is going to be impressive from a vocal performance standpoint. That's just impossible because every song is going to have different various, uh, different variations of and different levels of difficulty. Now, you're going to find songs like this now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I have a feeling these two songs got some radio play. I have a feeling, I don't know if they were big hits for her, but I have a feeling they were hits nonetheless. Um, I hear the commercial appeal within the songs for sure. Uh, and when you have a simpler song like this, uh, that's not as demanding from, a, from any standpoint, not just vocals, but across the board, from all the musical instruments, there's nothing all that complicated that's happening. There's nothing all that difficult that's happening. So you have a simpler song here, an easier song. Would it make more sense to take vocal lines that are simpler or more complex that may not necessarily fit the context of the song? Or would it be, make more sense to do simpler vocal lines that are more relatable and do fit the context of the song. I will take the simpler lines, thank you very much. And she does have very simple vocal lines in this, but the same comparatively to what she's done in other songs, but she's still executing them very well. She's still showing off uh, some great power and projection, vowel formation, uh, diction. She's showing all of these things even within the simpler lines. So. Which is good because quite often sometimes vocalists they, they focus so much on the impressive stuff and on the stuff that's difficult. And they put so much effort and work and practice and time into getting those difficult things down that they let the simpler things kind of fall by the wayside. And it's not that they don't care, it's just they need to put all that work and effort and time into the more difficult things. Well, as a result, the simpler things suffer. Not not the case here. Definitely not the case here. Um, let's finish this out. I, we got a minute. Look, if it's going to get blocked, it's going to get blocked. I have a feeling the BBC is going to do me in anyway. So let's just finish this out, minute and a half, and uh, then we'll get to the review.
playing the crowd against it. That's nice. There's not a lot to think about, but there's a lot I got to take into consideration before I give a score. I I, I kind of have an idea of where this is going to go score-wise, but I better make sure. I better make sure before I give that score because I'm going to raise some eyebrows when I do. Um, Let me think about it. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Beyonce with Baby Boy and Naughty Girl. It was two songs. Yeah, so I guess it means we got double up on that. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. There you go. Uh, yeah, that was a request from Alan Marquez. Uh, he requested both of those and he got them through. You got lucky there, Alan. I normally don't do that, but uh, yeah, he got that one through. I, I thought it was one song. Um, okay, I thought about this. There's Here's the thing. There's not a lot to think about. There, there really isn't, but there's a lot of things to consider and to and to take into account for the score I gave. And I really had to kind of weigh the pros and the cons. And yes, I know there are Beyonce purists out there who think that she can do absolutely no wrong. Guys, I hate to tell you this, she's human. <laughs> um, and there were some things I wasn't really 100% thrilled about. But... Uh, I took everything into consideration when I'm giving this score. I'm taking everything into account here, so please keep that in mind. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.8. Yep, 7.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Um, The biggest glaring issue that I had really didn't have anything to do with Beyonce because she had no control over it. That mix, God dang it. Whoever was working FOH, I, I don't know. Now, maybe Beyonce told them to pump out the, the track as much as possible. And maybe she told them to put the track up at the front of the mix. It's possible. I don't think for one second that she did. I, I really would have a very hard time being convinced that she is the one that made that call because that was a glaring issue. Um, I have said this before in the past and I'm, I'm gonna say it one more time. I have no problem with people using track. I have no issue with track being used with bands and artists at all. We use them. I, 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 it would be very hypocritical of me to sit there and say that I have a problem with bands using track when we use them ourselves. No, look, we use them. We make no bones about it. And if people ask, yeah, absolutely we use track. For certain elements, sure. It helps fill out the sound. Absolutely. But we still play live. <laughs> absolutely. All the vocals are live. <laughs> and they they're, they're have backing vocal, backing vocal track in there, but... When our mics are in front of us, they are live mics. So absolutely, we are singing along with them. Absolutely. Um, so I have no problem with people using track. The problem I have is that when, when people lie about it and they're confronted and they're saying, hey, were you using tracks? And they say, oh no, we don't use any tracks. Everything you heard it was live. When you see the mics clearly not plugged in, turned off, no battery pack in them. They're just husks, just literally sitting there and they have the audacity to sit there and and try to fool you and say oh no everything was live no it wasn't come on man um but in regards to the track the tracks were coming through a little loud in the mix if i'm being honest now like i said whose call was that 
knowing what a control freak Beyonce is and how how hands on she is, I've got, I've got to believe that she had some say in this, but I don't know because I also know what kind of a, of a perfectionist she is, and I can't believe for one second that she would have heard that and then would have been okay with it. So my guess is that was a slip up in FOH. That was their bad. That was their mistake, and I'm sure there's a good chance somebody lost their job over that. After the show, she probably went back and heard it and was like, who was responsible? And somebody got fired that night, I have a feeling. Oh, um, someone fired! It was a glaring issue, though. It was. Now, was that Beyonce's fault? No, it's not Beyonce's fault whatsoever. At least I don't think it is. It, then again, I could be wrong, and it might have been her call all along. I don't know. So I, I can't really say either way whether it was her fault or not, uh, I can only speculate. I hate speculating, but uh, I'm gonna say that that was FOH's mistake. It was their, it was their bad. Um, the songs themselves, if we're being honest here, the songs were pretty good. Okay, look, not every song from Beyonce is going to be amazing. I'm sorry. I know there are those people out there, those Beyonce diehard purists, who worship the ground that she walks upon, thinks that she is the Messiah and the second coming, and they believe that she can do absolutely no wrong, and everything that she does deserves a 10. Well, that's fine. If they want to live in that little fantasy world of theirs, they are more than welcome to. The reality is, I'm being objective here, okay? And I'm saying what I believe. And what I believe is this. Those two songs, have a ton of commercial appeal. They're well written, they're simple. They're very simple songs, but they're very well written. They got a good groove to them, uh, good chordal structure, good chordal lines, good chordal flow, uh, good use of instrumentation. Uh, do, do you see the common word I'm using here though is good, not great. I have heard far better songs written by her that are absolutely worthy of those eights and those nines. Absolutely. Do I believe that these two songs deserve that eight or that nine? No, no, I don't. They're very simply written. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just by comparison to some of the other songs that she has done, these don't hold a candle. I'm sorry, they don't. I've heard far better, far more emotional invoking, far more powerful songs, better written songs than these two were. Like I said, they're very well written songs. They're simple. Yes, they are definitely simple, but I, I find no flaw in the writing. It's just by comparison to the other songs, they, they don't stand up. I'm sorry, they just don't. Um, they're much simpler songs, but that gave Beyonce a chance to do more when it comes to crowd interaction, which if you know anything about me, when it comes to live performances, I am all about that. I am all about crowd interaction, stage interaction, stage energy, showmanship. I'm, I'm all about those things. And I saw quite a bit of that on stage uh, from everybody involved. Even the musicians were moving around, which I, as backing musicians, it's good to see. It, it is. I mean, they, they could just as easily as stood there and played their instruments, like the horn section. Could have just stood there and played. Guitar and bass could have just stood there and played. And nobody would have had a problem with it because they're in the back. They're backing musicians. They're just, they're doing their job, which is to play the songs. Now, whether Beyonce told them to move around or whether they took that upon themselves, I don't know. My guess is they were probably instructed to move around because a lot of their movements were synchronized <laughs> with each other. So my guess is that's all choreographed out which is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter how it's done, it's done. That's the important thing. The movement happens, whether it's whether it's instructed and choreographed and blocked out or whether it's just them rocking out and having fun on their own, doesn't matter to me as long as it happens. I could care less. So I'm glad to see the movement and motion from everybody on stage. Beyonce interacted with the crowd, gave them to sing along, the call and response, very nicely done. As far as her vocal performance, like I said, it, it's just like the songs. I've heard her do better. I've heard her be far more impressive. I've heard her vocalize be far more challenging, far more difficult than this was. 
This, by comparison to those songs, was child's play, okay? Now, having said that though, she did take what she had to do and she did it really well, like really well. And I got no issue with anything that she did. I'm just saying, again, there is that scale. There is that comparison. And if people can be objective, they will see that scale themselves. And I'm sure if Beyonce fans can be objective and they look at these two songs and they look at other songs that she has done that I've reviewed on the channel, I think they will all come to see the same thing that I see. There is definitely a pecking order. And unfortunately, uh, this the reality is this is just not as impressive. It's just not. It's still a well done job, a really good live performance. I saw everything I wanted to see from a live performance. I'm just saying that it just, it wasn't that impressive. It didn't blow my skirt up. It didn't blow my mind. It, it didn't, it didn't, it never gave me that oh my God moment. So I gotta be honest and I gotta be objective. And that's why I'm giving it a 7.8. Now, for those of you who may not know what a 7.8 is, if you're not sure, take a look down below in the video description, you'll very clearly find my scoring system chart there that clearly says that 7.0 to 7.9. What does that say? Does that say bad? No. Does it say okay? No. Does it say pretty good? No. What does it say? It says really good. This is a really good job. It was a really good job for a really good song. Not amazing, not great, but really good. And that's where we're gonna stay is with that 7.8. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna end. So, 7.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.